Okay, I caught this little boy this morning. And his name is Prince. He's a little tuxedo cat. And he's ready to go get fixed today. Tuesday. So we're going to get up there to Animal Services and get him done. Okay, back here at the Spay Neuter Clinic, Volusia County Animal Services. And we're getting ready to take this guy. He's been such a good boy. He hasn't made one peep the whole way here. I think he hurt his little head there. Knocking it. Oh, poor little guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you've been such a good boy. I can't even scared of me. Just a good boy. Yeah. I know it. Alright, we'll get you out of here real quick, buddy. Okay, little Prince here is all done with his surgery. And he was such a good boy, he didn't make one peep. You don't even really mind if I pet him a little bit. That's me pet him on the nose. Let's see if he'll let me pet him before I leave here. Can I pet you, buddy? Let's see if he'll let me. Can I not hurt you? Not hurt you. Close. Yeah. I bet I could take him home and make him just tame as could be. I don't know if I should do that though. I think he's ready to go back home. He's a little boy. They recover really quickly from these surgeries. So he lives right over here. There's the uh, feeding station, and this is right behind the uh, closed down Bob Evans restaurant. And there's usually about 10 cats running around out here, but right now the, the raccoons are taking over, so the cats are gone. Okay, little buddy. Time to go home. There he went. He's out of there. Alright guys, just a little bit of update here with baby Spork. Uh, he's doing real good. Look, his eyes are looking better. He's been on his antibiotics. And he just eats and eats. He loves to eat. Tons of wet food. He's not eating the dry yet. So he gets fed about five times a day. Big portions of wet food. And as soon as he gets fed, he stops crying. And he's got the run of the guest room here. Uh, it's kind of like my storage room right now because I don't have a shed. But he's got all kinds of places to hide in here. And he likes to come as soon as I get home from work, lay down with me. And we fall asleep together and take naps. And he just purrs and purrs. And I haven't uh, thought about putting it up for adoption yet. I'm just kind of enjoying having him for a while. So I might put him up for adoption in another three weeks maybe. Once he gets a little bit bigger. And I don't know, I'm gonna miss him when he's gone. Who knows, he may end up sticking around. Alright, a little bit of update on Kirby. Kirby's really just made himself at home. He loves staying on the tables. He likes this table and he likes being on the coffee table. And he stays out on the catio uh, while I'm at work, the catio slash bathroom area. And then as soon as I get home from work, I let him out and he comes out into the house and he just makes himself comfortable here in my room or anywhere he likes. And he's really adjusted well to being an indoor cat. He doesn't even run for the door when I open the door or anything like that. Um, and he's been eating a lot, he's getting bigger, uh, 
uh, he loves to be held. He purrs when I hold him. And he likes to play and bite my hand. And uh, he's doing well. Uh, my other cat, baby Jason, pretty much has accepted him as being in a part of the family. Uh, he stopped hissing. Uh, my other one, Orangey, is still uh, kind of crying about the whole thing and doesn't want to come in the house. But uh, he used his litter box real good. And he's uh, doesn't mind China one bit. China can put her face right up to him. He won't even move. And he loves his coffee table. That's where he likes sitting. And he also loves going up and feeding at that feeding station up there. But yeah, I think he's going to do well here. I haven't, put, I haven't let him outside yet. I'm really just enjoying him being an indoor cat. And it's going to start getting cold at night pretty soon. And he's going to love having a warm place to be on those cold winter nights. So that's the update there. And we'll see you guys in the next one.